So Dr. Azen, what, what is Kisunla? Kisunla is the brand name for denanumab, which is the latest drug to be approved for the treatment of Alzheimer's at the early stage. It is a, an antibody that attacks amyloid, and amyloid is a major abnormality in the Alzheimer's disease brain. This drug uh, allows the body's natural defenses to remove amyloid. So it's a very important approach to the treatment of Alzheimer's disease that gets at a principal cause of the disease. And it was approved because a large study demonstrates very clearly that treatment with this drug slows progression of disease. So it's a clinically important benefit. What does it mean for families now that we have two uh, approved disease-modifying drugs for Alzheimer's on the market? Well, first of all, uh, having disease-modifying drugs is just a tremendous step forward. We've been working on this for decades. Uh, so the fact that we have one and now two is just a huge milestone. Both of the drugs that we have now have a similar mechanism of action. They are antibodies that attack this amyloid deposit in brain and allow the deposits to be cleared, essentially removing one of the principal causes of Alzheimer's disease. And studies of these two drugs both show that removing amyloid at the early AD stage slows disease progression by about 30%. Having two drugs means that there is choice for clinicians and patients and families to consider. Uh, and it also provides a strong demonstration that this approach works. It's not just a one-off trial. There are now two drugs that have been proven effective using this mechanism. It shows that we are right in addressing amyloid and brain, not that this is the full answer to the problem of controlling disease. These drugs slow progression by about 30%. We need to stop progression. We need to prevent disease. But they show that eliminating amyloid from brain has a meaningful benefit. It's an important step in controlling AD. This is Dr. Sharon Rossi, who manages the uh, Alzheimer's portfolio at Bright Focus. I don't know if you've met Dr. Azen. Hi, Dr. Azen. So is there going to be some sort of criteria as to who gets which drug? Is there certain characteristics that would make one well, preference? The drugs are similar. Right now, they're both given intravenously. They both remove amyloid plaques. They both are used at the same stage of disease, and they both slow disease progression by about 30%. But there are important differences. Uh, the new drug, Kisunla, actually works faster. The removal of the plaque happens faster. However, side effects have been a bit more common with this drug, and so there are reasons to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of each one. Um, lecanemab, lecembi, is currently used with IV infusions every two weeks. That's more frequent. So there are differences, but the situation is also dynamic. It's going to be changing. And so, um, for example, lecembi, um, may be available in a subcutaneous form soon. That will mean intravenous infusions are not necessary. The drug may be able to be administered by patients and families at home. So it's a dynamic situation. The two approaches are similar, yet there are significant differences that can inform discussions with patients and families. Yeah. It is interesting. I think back when we were shooting Turning Point and how much the landscape has changed and it's, you kind of Absolutely. want to jump up and down and start dancing. That's exactly right. You know, everything is different. At the point of that film, 
um, a prevailing attitude was, are we doing the right things? Are we on the right track? Uh, should we be shifting gears? Is amyloid really driving this disease? And now we know, we know that this is a very useful therapeutic approach. Doesn't mean again, that we are where we wanna be. We right. want a bigger effect. We wanna be able to halt progression. We wanna be able to prevent the disease, but we have great strategies on how to move forward from where we are now.